Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Not sure if you can tell, if you're new here you definitely won't, but I am on my new camera, which has been a long time coming and I literally just had to google like how to record on this camera because it's very different from my last one but I'm super excited because it's arrived just in time for Christmas, which is what we're talking about today. I've got my most Christmassy jumper on. I know it's not that Christmassy, it's very red, like the red you're seeing on camera is literally how red it is in life, like I've never seen this shade of red. I call it my Mrs. Claus jumper and my Christmas tree lights are on but they're very weak so anyway I'm, I'm trying to be as festive as humanly possible because I know this is going to be my last video that I've up before Christmas which is insane I feel like it's come around so fast so I just wanted to do a really fun kind of casual Christmas Q&A. You guys asked me some really great questions over on Instagram which I am going to answer and I'm going to try and do it quick fire because I just want this to be light-hearted, fun, breezy, quick, nothing like too in-depth or too heavy because we got presents to wrap, we got people to see, we got food to eat so hopefully you really enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay let's start off with an easy one best Christmas film. Now there are many top runners for this position let me tell you I've been binging Christmas movies so hard since the 29th of November I think that was like my cutoff point or my starting point I guess but I think I'd have to go with Home Alone 2 which is a new favourite. I've always liked it but I've never kind of appreciated all of the Christmas magic that a movie like that set in New York can bring and I think it's very nostalgic my dad loves Home Alone movies and I haven't been able to see him much this year so I think that plays into it as well and just overall I think it's a really really great Christmas film it's fun it's like heartwarming joyful everything is being ticked off in terms of what you want for a Christmas movie otherwise if it's like favorite Christmas movie of all time not just this year I would probably say Miracle on 34th Street like the original black and white version just because I think it it just exudes like Christmas hope and joy and childhood and all of those lovely things and I think there is something so lovely and just wholesome about a black and white movie so that would be probably my top top one but this year Home Alone 2 has done me good. Oh favourite Christmas food? Oh where do I even start? Probably mince pies. Is that a Christmas food? It's not a Christmas day food, it's a Christmas season food but I freaking love a mince pie. I don't know what it is. I still haven't found the perfect mince pie like I bought some from like Lidl, from Marks, from Sainz. I quite like the Sainsbury's ones but I really want to try and make them as well but there's nothing better than coming home getting a cup of tea and a mince pie and sticking home alone two on. I'm sorry but that's probably my favourite Christmas food. Ooh, ideas for gifts to buy your dad. I'm rubbish at this one. I just think my dad is quite a practical guy like he doesn't really like stocking fillers or jokey presents or like he will want something that he can use and if he doesn't like it he won't use it so there's a lot of pressure for what to buy him and he's always one of those parents that when you message him and say hey dad what do you want for christmas you know he should think this question's coming i've been asking him for like 20 odd years now um he'll say oh i just want to see you on christmas day or boxing day or whatever and i'm like that's lovely like so so sweet but also not very helpful so i always go for a amazon gift voucher or if there's like a garden center your dad really likes if he shops at being q or an ikea man or anything like that maybe there's a clothing store he really likes my dad really likes salt rock so i would opt for a gift card i know it's not like there's not much christmas joy in a gift card but you guarantee that the person is going to find something they like or reverse side but also a gift that you can't really go too far wrong with is alcohol now whether you know that you, your dad likes a certain type of wine or treats himself to a whiskey on Christmas or if it's just like you have to ransack his liquor cupboard or go through his fridge and see what beers he's drinking you can't go far wrong with alcohol or like a special drink maybe he likes a certain kind of coffee or he likes I don't know a certain type of tea or like fruity teas or like loose leaf teas who knows but if there's a specific drink your dad likes on like a regular basis or as a treat sometimes they can get quite pricey so they could make a really good gift especially if you wanted to do maybe like a whiskey and a whiskey glass and those whiskey stones like the ice cube things you could really like puff out that present you know so hopefully that helps but my dad is so hard to buy for so I'm with you on that one it's a real struggle how do you usually spend Christmas Eve 
I don't really think we have many traditions. I know some people go all out on Christmas Eve and do like matching pajamas and they get special dinner and things. We don't really do that. The only thing we tend to do is we watch the holiday on Christmas Eve and that's been a tradition for the last like four years, I would say like me, my mum, my sister and sometimes my stepdad will all sit down and watch the holiday even though we pretty much know it word for word at this point. We always end up crying, have some chocks, have some alcohol, it's a great time. Um, and me and my boyfriend usually open Christmas presents on Christmas Eve because Christmas day we're both with our own families and then Boxing Day I'm with my dad. So it's all very complicated, but I think this year I'm waking up at his house on Christmas day, which has like never happened in the five years we've been together, but we might actually end up opening Christmas presents on Christmas day, which is very exciting, but usually happens on Christmas Eve. Have you finished your Christmas shopping? This is funny because I'm just about to go out and do some more. I was convinced I was finished and then I was kind of like writing down everything. I've got a major list of everything I've bought and stuff but I was like mm, some of these presents like could do with filling out a little or could do with a st stocking filler or there are like a couple people I just want to get something small for. So the answer is no but i have started early i was like well on it like first of december i started my christmas shopping majority is done there's like five things i still need to get and hopefully i can grab all of those today so very very nearly but like when people were messaging me like last weekend being like i'm just starting my christmas shopping it's like what are you doing i always start early i will say that and i think 2021 i want to shop like throughout the year for christmas gifts just like when i see something nice for someone rather than like trying to cram it all into one month because it's a lot i have a big family so quite intimidating how old were you when you stopped believing in father christmas it says in santa but i call him father christmas it's kind of embarrassing to be honest i think i was like 12 or 13 like near teenager pretty old and i believed so hard for so long so much so that in year five so i think you're 10 or 11 at that point I had written to Father Christmas and been like, please give me some proof that you're real. Like so many of my friends have stopped believing in you and I just want to convince them. Like I want to spread the word and Christmas joy that you're real. I was just like really going to town. And um, my mum wrote a letter, like literally calligraphy looked so legit. I laminated it because it said like, hi Amber, thanks for believing in me, blah, blah, blah. I laminated it and took it in for show and tell and stood up in front of my 30 odd classmates to tell them all how much Father Christmas was real because I had a letter. True story, not making it up. Um, and I think I realized when there were a few signs like our wrapping paper matched Father Christmas's wrapping paper. My mom was like, oh, he must shop at Marks and Spencer's too. And we were like, eh. Um, but it wasn't until I saw my mum putting the presents at the end of my bed one year that I was like, oh, damn. And I was really gutted, but Thank God I found out eventually. What's the best gift you have ever received? That's really hard. I've had some great presents over the year, like big and small. Mm. Oh, you know what it was? Going back childhood, if we're talking childhood, best presents. My baby Annabelle, which now they kind of terrify me. Terrify me, they're kind of scary. But I freaking love that child baby doll thing like it was real i would dress it i would wake up in the middle of the night and go pick it up out of its cot because i was pretending it was crying kind of psychotic i know but it happened i took it on holiday i once dropped it on holiday and some woman screamed because she thought it was a real baby by the way i was treating it it was not um but i then got like a pram and all the accessories and i just loved her for so so very long so i think that was the best gift i ever received i don't think i realized it at the time i was like oh a dolly but she literally became like my life. So probably that sounds a little bit mental, but let me know what your best gift you ever received was, because that'd be really interesting. Oh, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? I love this question. We have a few that we do every year. Um, like we all go around to my neighbor's house. Like we have like three or four neighbors that take it in turns to host nibbles and drinks on Christmas day morning. So we all go to each other's houses, which I really love just because it's like, gives you a real like Christmas community feel. Um, we won't be doing that this year, but we are doing mold wine street party with carols, which I'm really looking forward to. So changing that tradition slightly because of Miss Rona. Um, but what else do we do? We 
used to open Christmas presents in my mum's bed every Christmas morning and we'd film it so like we have every year of my childhood as opening presents it's just so so nice to watch back um but I think my favorite Christmas tradition is one my nan actually does she makes Christmas pudding every year she starts early like start of December she was making that pudding but when we were children she would come around our house she would go around my house like my parents house my auntie and uncle's house my other auntie and uncle's house to so we could all mix the mixture all mix the christmas pudding and make a wish um which was so lovely and obviously as the family has gotten older and moved away like i'm living in london they live in bournemouth she calls me so she calls me up while she's mixing and i make my wish over the phone and i think it's just so lovely it's something that connects all the family we all then like just have like a little something towards that christmas pudding and i think it just gives you a really nice like boost of hope or like positive vibes for 2021 i guess or the next year because you know you've made a wish on a christmas pudding so it's bound to come true but yeah i just really love that tradition and i think what i love the most about it is like how little it's changed like it still happens to this day despite wherever we are in the world or whatever we're up to or whatever we're doing my nan always makes it a priority which i really love and it tastes bloody good but yeah i think they are all the christmas questions i'm gonna answer for today i just wanted to keep it short and sweet and wish you all the best christmas ever or just the best holiday season ever i hope you all have a really nice new year's as well i will hopefully be back on before new year's because i want to show you a little christmas vlog what i got for christmas all those fun things are coming up so if you want to stick around go ahead and hit that subscribe button did i say button button because i post new videos every sunday and sometimes on a thursday if you're lucky so hopefully i'll see you very soon bye